Hey drone here, what's going on guys? Drone days bugs is a little bit beefed up. This is that drone that I flew yesterday that has the on-screen display. The unit is down there, which everything plugs into. Um, I will do a basic setup on this and then you have three main components. You have your camera, you have your transmitter and you have your GPS. It all ties into that. Um, I'll go further explaining on how to set this up in a different video. We're using the jumper and see if this will go on me. Bam, FX goggles. Let's go. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and take off. This video is going to be a little bit different from the last video. The last video was more shock and awe. What? Bugs 3 with telemetry? Look at all that telemetry. So hopefully somebody's jaw hit the ground. Hopefully it gained a lot of interest. I'm going to explain the telemetry on here. I will lightly explain how this is set up. We will do a setup video. So we're going to show you what the telemetry is. Upper left-hand corner, you see a number 12 next to a satellite icon. Obviously, that's how many satellites I'm locked onto. You want to make sure that you lock onto at least six, and it says home okay. If you don't lock on to at least six before you take off, your telemetry is going to be off. Your distance away from home and your uh, height will be slightly off. I think the height for the most part uh, is pretty much on point, but if it locks in air, it's going to judge the in-air home point as zero, and then as you go higher and lower, then uh, that's it, it'll definitely be off. So to the right of that, we have longitude and latitude with an N and a W next to it. That is your longitude and latitude north and west, and I don't know how accurate that is. I did test it yesterday, and it was completely off. It wasn't giving me my set longitude and latitude, but I have also not calibrated the compass, the geomagnetic compass on this, uh, so that could be a reason why it's not locking that's the only thing that I find that's uh, not working out of the box but I'm sure there's a way to get it to work to the right of that we have total runtime of the unit not to be confused with total runtime of this flight um, how does that make any sense well you have to let this unit gather satellites so this sat on the ground for however long that you saw as we were taking off and then it's adding on to that with total flight time um, so that's what that's giving you total powered on time of the unit down below that there's an a17 i'm not sure what the a17 a19 is but the little red numbers underneath that is actually our total recorded time on the fx goggles that we are using that's an on-screen display that it's outputting to this then we have a uh, we have a north heading that's below that. Um, as you can see, uh, we are to the left. If we were to go to the left, that would be facing north. I'm going to see if we actually do that and it zeroes out for you guys here. Bam, we are going to the left. We need to go to the left a little bit more for it to zero out. As we go to the right, the number is going to get higher. If we go to the left, which is towards north, it will. it's getting close to zero. And it's getting close to the left a little bit more, J-Drone. A little bit more. Anyway, when that would zero out, that's your complete north heading, which we were pretty close there. Um, so that's cool. We have a north heading. Down below that, all the way on the bottom, bottom right-hand corner, uh, we have an SD card. That is actually being projected via the FX goggles. That's part of its on-screen display. And below that, the 7.4, that is total voltage. This unit is meant to be set up with two batteries. I'm running it with one battery. So this is the total voltage for the unit and also for the drone. It's all draining off of the same battery. Um, you can set it up to where you have an external battery for this unit and you also have your normal battery and you can tie that in and then you'll get two voltage readings. Myself, I kind of like it all in one. Um, down below that you can see something flashing, something bleaking. That's also from the FX goggles showing that we are recording. And to the left of that, you have arrows pointing downwards, and now you have arrows pointing upwards. It says one meter m slash s, meters per second. That shows your elevation and your decline in meters per second. To the left that is our SD card video recording, which is coming from the Firefly Mini that cost under $20. Link will be down below. If you haven't gotten one of these yet, I highly suggest you getting one of these. To put it on the Bugs 3 is simple pop out the light piece and you have to lightly get in there and push it down it is such a tight fit it won't go nowhere i promise you that um the the osd screen recording uh for fpv that's that's the mini cube firefly the mini um connected to a transmitter that's all both of the images are coming from but bottom left is coming from an sd card above the super clear image that's coming from the sd card we have our total distance traveled 
Super cool, super cool, super helpful. I absolutely love that telemetry because we're not doing a range run. I can judge my range runs. That's super simple. I have a website on the internet that I can go from point A to point B, judge distance, and even do a point C on the run back and judge total distance out and in. Flying like this to try to mentally compute what we are doing and try to go, okay, we just went out this way, now we turned that way, and we came back this way, then we went back out that way, then we went this way. We'd have a hundred different points on the map, and there's no way I'd be able to compute it. That telemetry above that clear SD card reading is valuable. It lets you know your total time, not total time, your total distance traveled, even if we're flying in a small medium, large, whatever you want to call it, type field that we are here. So I absolutely love that telemetry. The D with 41 above it, 34 now, is distance traveled away from home point. As you can see, we're just about at home point, and it's just about zeroed out. We're now 10 meters away from home point. Um, up above that is your height. You can see we're just about on the ground here as we are uh, slowly going to bring this for a landing because our voltage is reading 7.2. Um, it's the height. That's our height. Speed is up above that. Pitch and roll is up above that. Got Guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, smash the subscribe button. Zeno, we got the Zeno uh, unboxing will be happening of that. Um, we also are going to show you a basic setup on this, trying basically going over how I have it on, on my drone and also showing you a diagram to make it more clear. Um, that way, if you do decide to get this unit, you can really refer to that diagram and be super helpful. As you can see, we've landed. Now we're at 7.6. It's fluctuating. Um, the voltage is fluctuating because there's not a draw on a battery. That is a live representation of the voltage. Harder you fly, lower it'll go. All right, guys. Later.